Ezra Friedlander is a first-generation American who grew up in Newark, New Jersey. I guess I started out young and being interested in uh, leadership positions and doing things, a public servant in a sense. His sense of compassion helped lead him down a path to Indiana University with some guided advice from his uncle who graduated from the IU Medical School. I came to school with the idea of being a doctor. He suggested I come to Indiana University because I would have a better shot at getting into medical school. It seemed like a good idea at the time. And after my first two years that I really wasn't cut out to be a doctor, that's when I pursued my degree in history and government. He completed his BA in history in 1962. His plans were to move back east and attend law school in Brooklyn, New York, just like his big brother. But a family tragedy marked a turning point. There were only two of us. Uh, I kind of followed him around, and we discussed that we would probably go into practice together. And that's when I decided to go to Brooklyn Law School. And then things changed. My brother was killed in an automobile accident in Fort Campbell, Kentucky, supporting the 101st Airborne Division during the Berlin call-up. And I decided at that point that I did not want to go back east. I did not want to go to Brooklyn Law School where my brother had gone. And I enrolled at that point at IU Law School. He was able to turn tragedy into triumph, uh, which I think is one of his real attributes, is that inevitably he turned that into something that was positive, and, and this is an example of that. It's interesting, the uh, twists and turns that life has, as sad as that occurrence is, the flip side was what it did for me, becoming a citizen of the state of Indiana and living here and accomplishing the things that uh, I've been fortunate enough to accomplish. Well, I first met uh, Judge Friedlander, Zeke, as we knew him uh, back in law school, back in 1962. Oh, he's just a good human being. He has a good sense of justice. And with that passion for justice, Zeke graduated from the Indiana University Mauer School of Law in 1965. With the help of an IU trustee, he found his first law position in the city of Gary, Indiana. He later served as deputy prosecutor in Lake and Marion counties and was a corporation counsel for the Indiana Secretary of State. He had a 27-year career as a, as a practicing lawyer and then ended up being on the bench. Fortunately, a uh, position became available on our appellate court. So I was very pleased and was able to carry on doing the things that you, I knew how to do, but doing it from a different perspective. Judge Friedlander began serving his community in the Indiana Court of Appeals in 1993. He was regarded for his commitment and integrity. In a very short period of time in talking to him, you know that he has an integrity. I mean, it had to serve him incredibly well as serving as a judge. He wants to see everybody receive justice uh, with respect to whatever activity or endeavor in which they are involved. Being part of that, to me, is, uh, couldn't be a, a more important job to have. And in his view, Indiana University gave him the chance. I view IU as having been able to give me the opportunity to do what I've done in life. And, and I've been fortunate enough to be in a position where I've been able to repay those things that Indiana University has provided for me. He's a critical asset to Indiana. He's taken his time, talent, and treasure to affect multiple things at the university in, a, in very important ways. He is an emeritus member of the college's Dean's Advisory Board and a former member of the IU Foundation's Board of Directors. In addition, his dedication to the university has allowed him to set up a fellowship within the History Department and endow many scholarships across campus, particularly one to honor the memory of his late son, David. Uh, David uh, was a great athlete in high school and college and uh, loved IU sports. I think that that's a great way to honor family members, to honor the university for what they've given to me and to my family, and to have the, op the ability and the opportunity for others to take advantage of what a great university Indiana is. This past August, Judge Friedlander retired from the Indiana Court of Appeals and now serves as a senior judge. He is still very active in his community and with the university, 
as he and his wife currently sit on the board of directors of the Heron School of Art and Design. Not only has he got this great intellectual skills, but he also is interested in many, many different things and pursues them with the same vigor he does his law work, which allows him to be a contributor not only in his profession of choice, but in, in many, many different places that serve not only Indiana University, but the state and frankly the world.